Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Samuski. Today I'm back again with another tutorial. It's been a very long time, guys. So today I want to show you how this beat was made. I'm not going to be taking a lot of time in this tutorial. If you want more from me, you can purchase my lessons on hbsbeats.com. So the first thing I want to do right now is to play the beat, and once I play it, I'm going to be breaking it down. So as you can see all the instruments, none of them was recorded live. Everything was made out of the MIDI uh, piano. So this song is actually in the key of C. So when you're making your beat, you need to know the progression you want to use for the beat. So like for this one here, I have my one, five, and four. to the five and one so I'm gonna solo the drums so that you see how so starting out with the rim so you guys already know it's popular then I have the massacre maracas going throughout so this is like a loop you understand so next off we have the clap the next off we have uh, this other percussion So it's not every beat you're going to be swinging. So as you see, this one here is not swinged. So I left it at 0%. So next off, we have the high hat. So the high hat there is just to give the snare that brightness. So next off, we have the tambourine tambourine so as you can see the tambourine it's actually doing the same uh, with the snare next off we have another percussion here so this is like next off so this is like a bell So uh, for the roll, for the drum roll, I'm, I'm actually using uh, a plugin called Super Quartet. So this is Super Quartet. You just have to download it, then come over to preset drums and select the ambient set. So this is what it sounds like. This is what I've done inside. So you understand then next off i have another snare here so it's actually the same thing but the snare up uh, just gave it that loudness so you understand so let me just solo all the drums so that you see what it sounds like so the kick is not here so next off this is still the drums. Okay, this is where the kick comes in. With other percussions. So this 
so next off uh, this is still the drums so next off we have a plugin from nexus we have a plug a preset from nexus called muted clean so this is what it sounds like <laughs> So this is actually the progression of the song that I just showed you. So without your progression, you're not going to be making good stuff. So you're going to see actually use uh, the six uh, instead of using one so this is the progression that's it so next off I'm gonna play the drums together with <laughs> Then also with the vamp. So you might want to know the tone which I'm using is from Nexus and it's called Muted Guitar OCT. So next off we have uh, another instrument from Nexus, which is a muted clean. So this is what it sounds like. So you understand. So as you can see, I'm actually using different muted guitars so here i have the muted clean and here i have the muted guitar also so when you're selecting your sounds uh, make sure they are not clashing with each other so next off we have the bass and i'm using a plugin called ample bass this is the j version of it so this is what it sounds like <laughs> So everything I'm doing it's under uh, the same progression which I talked about. So next off we have a clap, a steady clap under the beat. Next off, we have the drums. So all these are just spices to the drums. Next up, we have a shaker loop. I showed you that here before. So I panned one to the left and this one is to the right just to get that stereo effect. So next off we have the guitar. So this is uh, a guitar from Contact and this is what it sounds like. So I'm actually using the same guitar but I'm doing a different uh, melody. So you understand? So this one is like, let me just solo this one so you see what I did. So I added the delay, that's why you see it's bouncing. So this is the first one.
So both of them together. So everything you hear, it's just out of my controller. So I'm not recording a live guitar. So I think that's everything I have to show you for this beat. So if you want to see more like the mixing process and the mastering process of the beat, you can contact me on WhatsApp. My number is in the description of this video. If you have any question, you can uh, leave a comment. I'm going to answer them. So guys, see you on the next tutorial. Bye.